Representative, uh, thanks for being patient with us and answering our questions. My colleague from Tulsa offered a hypothetical regarding a campaign sign, and your response was, was fair, in my opinion. No, this doesn't rise to the level of self-defense. But the problem, in my view, is when somebody gets shot, there's usually two people in that situation. And sometimes one of them is not able to explain what happened from their perspective after the fact. So how can you ensure us that this huge expansion of this definition is not going to allow, and maybe I've been watching too much Yellowstone, but how is this going to keep us from... Representative Bennett, do you have a question? Yeah, I, I do. My own caucus just keeps yelling at me, so... Uh, finally know how you all feel. Uh, <clears throat> so, can, can you understand that there is some concern that this definition, while I understand what you're trying to do, really opens this up for the possibility of, of some unsafe actions that, that can be shielded by this? I mean, I'm, I'm viewing, I'm, I'm thinking about what, does an investigation start at the premise of this person was, was acting in self-defense and doesn't pursue alternative motives, you know, after someone's been shot, you know, or worse, killed? Do you understand? where I'm coming from. Thank, thank you for the question. Uh, first of all, I, I watch Yellowstone too. I think it's a great, think it's a great show. You know, hope they don't cancel it. Uh, law enforcement, you know, it, this is not something that you can go out and get to a confrontation at the edge of your property. Uh, you feel like you're in deadly, deadly force is necessary. You feel like your life is in danger, which that absolutely has to be the case. You just can't shoot somebody, walk off and leave them. You're gonna have to call law enforcement. Law enforcement will come out, they're gonna investigate everything. Uh, I, I don't see uh, anything like that happening, and, and something to answer your question, that would be determined in the courts.